Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. So I am in Prince George in Canada, a small place, but beautiful and extremely awesome opportunities for my life, even in your backyard. So that's my situation, though I haven't seen much over here. Now, the story is not about me. And as I, as you guys know, because Hermes is not around, he is in Masai Mara. And we have a wonderful guest from Kolkata. When you think about Kolkata, the first name from wildlife and photography, you know, Dhritiman is what get into your head. So it's from his place, um, Kolkata, and it's uh, Jayanta Guha who is going to join us today. He started with mobile photography. I think he said he started in 2014, 2015. And then got into wildlife in 2018. So around four years experience, he got some amazing stories and amazing images. So let's welcome uh, Jayanta and uh, listen to his stories. So here we have Jayanta. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, yeah, good, good. Thank you. So I was just giving a small introduction about you, how you got into this, where, from where you are and what is your interest. As you mentioned, you started with people and uh, um, uh, landscape and then got into wildlife and you started with a mobile. Like me, you are also coming from a very middle class family, dream about big years and then eventually step by step going into that journey. So it's always a pleasure to see people coming from the same kind of background and believing in our dreams and going ahead. So welcome to the show and we would like to know more about you, more about your stories and um, how you fall in love with nature and how are you going and everything. Well, uh, thank you, Nisha, for uh, giving me this opportunity. And my name is Jayanta Guha, and I am from Kolkata. I started uh, photography like uh, with my mobile, and it was around 2014-15 uh, when I started clicking um, landscape portrait. And sometimes I used to take my uh, friends DSLR to sh shoot landscape when I was traveling. Uh, but after some time around when, so basically I'm from IT background and when I started my uh, new company, I got some money. So I I bought my first DSLR and then the very first day I clicked uh, a bird, the black kite. And after that, I after seeing the bird, I think now I should move to the wildlife because uh, I have seen in our area many landscape photographer, portrait photographer, model photographers are there, but very few wildlife photographers I meet in person. So the my main motto is like nowadays, my main motto is to show the habitat, their behavior, the the wild part of the jungle to those people right. who are not get that much opportunities to go into the wild and see how wildlife is. That is my main motto. Wonderful. That's great. And um, so if we can jump into your um, presentations, I think you can start with each, each image and then you can talk about the story behind it. And then we will go from there. What do you think? Yes, let's start. Let me share my screen. Yes. So is my screen visible? Yes. A beautiful tiger. Okay, so uh, this is a Raka from Tadoga and the tiger reserve. Uh, like he was resting he was, and while he was yawning, I got this shot and by doing some processing, I tried to make only uh, the the portrait, the, the, the face, I tried to make it brighter. Mm -hmm. And this is the result. And uh, generally, um, I I love two type of images like either it's fully natural okay. or it's fully artistic. Okay. So suppose and uh, I have seen many many tigers like only only portrait. So that's why I tried something different. Uh huh. So that's why I I choose artistic sometimes. So when I got some similar images like more than 2015. 
20, uh, 25 images I got. And I do, I cannot post all the images with same background, same thing. So that's why I try some low key, some high key, some artistic. So this is one of them. That's wonderful. And uh, this is the beginning. So I, I just told you that when I bought my first DSLR, I, I got this shot at the same day. So this is the black kite. I, uh, it was around, around 6 or 6.30. Mm -hmm. The light was very, very bad. And uh -huh. I was thinking to delete this image. Oh, my God. But, okay. uh, yes. So, but when I was, de before deleting, I, I just, I thought, ki, like, uh, let's try something with processing. So when I increase the shadow and exposure, I got this result. That's wonderful. And, after, and it's a nice yeah, image. Yeah. So after clicking this image, after this result, I thought now I can also take wildlife photography. Like <laughs> wildlife photographs. So <laughs> then I oh. moved to wildlife. I uh, see, uh, like nowadays I click landscape, um, the portrait also, but mostly I prefer wildlife. That's great. And this is the image I took with my 7030, the very, when I started uh, photography, I used to um, photograph with my D7500 with 7030, the beginning, beginner, uh, like, it's not that good, but it's like uh, quite sharp. And uh, instead of getting the very close-up shot, yeah, here it, it, it was a winter morning. You can see some dew yes. in the grass. Yes. So it was. I, I found the light was very good, so okay. I captured this. And I this was my first award. Where, with this image, I uh -huh. entered in a bird photography competition, the, the amateur category. Okay. And I, I was the winner of this. <laughs> of this oh, that's wonderful. And then, so the same place, same location at my initial days, I used to visit a, a water body. Uh -huh. So I I, I waited more three days, like a particular time, the birds, some birds uh -huh. um, sit at the place, at the branch. Uh -huh. And I, I missed the shot, maybe sometime, the, because I, it was like very beginning. I okay. was not that much good with my camera settings. Sometimes I missed the exposure. Sometimes it was too bright. So too, it was too dark. And I mm -hmm. missed the shot. Okay. So after, at, yeah, after trying many times. So I got this result. Oh, it's beautiful. And this is the this is the story of white-breasted kingfisher, how how they kill a frog and eat them. So oh. uh, in in our West Bengal, uh, waterland called Purvastali, bird sanctuary, uh -huh. is very famous here. Uh, like generally when Generally, when um, a, a photographer started wildlife photography, they used to visit this place because okay. you will get a lot of opportunities. You'll uh, you'll get some migratory birds from uh -huh. different countries, and that's why I have uh, visited this place at that time, and still I am visiting this place. So, uh, the white breast kingfisher, I I like I waited more like more than three to four hours for mm -hmm. this because uh, I have seen before visiting this place I have seen many photographers who were mm -hmm. posting these images the kingfisher with frog which I have never seen okay. so I I have seen that image and I asked my boatman so it's okay. a water land so you have to took images uh, from from a boat oh, okay okay so uh, like I waited and then I got this moment. So first they catch the frog uh -huh. and they uh, like they hit those frog into branch. Okay. And after that, they shallow it. So okay. uh, you can see like uh, the first they catch it and they, here is the, the, the inner part of their body. They remove it 
the the inner portion oh, from the body okay. from their frog uh -huh. and then hit it in a branch and okay. for that they swallow it so how i mean how many days you have uh, been to this place to get this particular image i mean what was the so, yeah like um, i have visited this place um, many times i'm not sure i i don't know how many how much time i have to wait so, okay Yes. But you were very, very particular about kingfishers in specific, yes. or okay? Yeah, like uh, so. In that place, you can get many subject, like many mm -hmm. subject around you. But you have mm -hmm. to choose one. If you, if you exactly want to get the good shot, you have to wait for them. Okay. So I yes. So there are osprey with kill, uh, kingfisher with kill, cormorant with kill. You can get many shot, but. Okay. Uh, if you want to make a story, you have to wait for that. Correct. So I, Thank you. So I waited and got this. And uh, this is the image at the, the time when I move around in my local area and got this uh, beautiful common kingfisher while it was hovering on uh -huh. the floor. And this is the stick throated uh, woodpecker. So when I got this woodpecker, I was too close. Okay. I, I didn't crop this image. Oh, that's and, wonderful. And this image was uh, took. I, I used uh, 7300. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are like if you know how to approach the bird, mm -hmm. so you can get closer to instead of getting uh, like getting closer to them, they will come closer to you. So I I was watching that the bird was uh, going this uh, perch uh -huh. uh, and live from there. So I waited at that area uh -huh. silently. And uh -huh. after a couple of minutes, I got this. So the bird knew you were there or the bird didn't see you there? No, uh, the, uh, the bird knew. But okay, that's I was great. I was silent for more than half an hour i was like laying in the ground okay that's wonderful that's really wonderful right so when i was not disturbing so that's you, that's cool it was it does not happen for them and uh, this this is the image from kajiranga beautiful so in wildlife you can say this is my turning point from where people uh, started know me mm -hmm. my, about my photography Mm -hmm. it uh, this image gone viral that's uh, like wonderful ma yeah many many uh, good, like many good platform featured this image like net geo wow um, yeah discovery wow. and some wow. i got some awards for this image also that's great uh, yeah so it was in kaziranga and the zone was burapahar range mm -hmm. generally people uh, don't want to visit that range. There okay. are four range in Kaziranga, the central, uh -huh. eastern, uh, western, Bagori, and this is western Burapara range. So it is uh, quite far from the central range. Uh -huh. So that's why people uh, ignored this place. And when I visited the day in the, uh, in the dawn, it was, uh, it was around, yeah, it was April. Okay. Late April, the monsoon season, uh -huh. it was raining. Uh -huh. And I really didn't go at that much time because it was raining. Oh, okay. Some good elephant shots only, and this one. So uh, when I was uh, leaving the park, and a rain stopped at the time. Okay. And be and the beauty of this zone is the you, you will the, in the background you will mm -hmm. see the mountain, the hill, yeah. the blue mountain. So you can see the blue is uh, the haze. The, the misty background, yeah. background. and the some uh, jungle miners was uh, doing some activities. Mm -hmm. So I tried to show the biodiversity between mm -hmm. the 100 rhino and the birds, the small birds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it is uh, still now it is one of my favorite images. That's a beautiful story and a wonderful image. And uh, this is the wow. habitat of Kaziranga. In I think it was it was in 
February, no, sorry, it was in March. Mm -hmm. So uh, luckily, when whenever I have visited uh, Kaziranga, I got rain. Like, <laughs> you cannot predict the weather in Kaziranga. Like okay. uh, in yeah, in morning, if it's like um, the fully sunny day, and mm -hmm. within within one hour, you can get rain over there. So oh, okay. I got like I ha I have been Kaziranga many times. Like it is one of my favorite places in India. Uh -huh. So I have been there quite a lot of time, and every time I got rain. Ah, that's and, great. You know, getting, just, wow, yeah, wow, wow, what yeah, just, anyway. just uh, yeah. So I just want to uh, mention that just after I, so this sorry this image and this image. Okay. Look at the same time. I, oh, okay. okay. So I was I first I was taking this uh, I was taking this image while it was ready. Okay. And suddenly rain stop and uh -huh. my, my guy come driver Prafulla uh -huh. is one of the best naturalist in Kerala. Okay. So he said that uh, mm. rainbow. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. So then I moved at the right hand side of the gypsy and I got uh -huh. this. So uh, what uh, like the rainbow was full actually, but uh -huh. I did, I didn't have the full frame body. Oh yeah. And that much wider lens. So I uh -huh. took it with 18 mm. Okay. With my crop crop frame lens. That's why I didn't get the full rainbow. Oh. But but it was full rainbow. Uh, full rainbow. I missed the. Full. Oh, oh my I, god. I, I, I took it. Yeah. I took it from my mobile. Oh my so god. Okay. It's, it's, at that it's time wonderful. I got. The, but in 18 mm, I didn't get the full rainbow. It happens, but I'm sure you'll come across beautiful things like this yeah. again in your life. Yeah, I I saw one of the images of Bruno Aditya like two rainbow at the same yes. time. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah, that, yeah, that is my like one of my dream frames. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the Oriental Pied Hornbill, same from Kaziranga. So here is the family. So on male, female, and the uh, baby. So th there there is a story. So uh, in Kaziranga, when I uh, visited, uh, like any time I visited, like uh, February, March, April, January, I got them, got this uh, pair in a nest. So uh, I didn't uh, put the nesting photo here, but I got the nest. So uh, the, what Hornbill do, they generally do nesting around March. March and April between that time, and after uh, like the, the main story of this um, hornbill is mm -hmm. the the male got ex like uh, killed by accident oh. because yes, but because this tree just beside the national highway and okay. they and they created their nest okay. very low distance, like it was around 12 to 15 feet from oh. the, the height. Okay. So, and the nature of the hornbill when they started fleeing, uh -huh. so they first move down, okay. then fly. So oh. the, the trucks and the, the big cars are moving from the national highway. Uh, and because of that, the male hornbill got killed. That's sad. This this year, March, yes. So mm -hmm. and that's why they didn't do nesting this this year. That's... And uh, the and the uh, thing is that uh, suppose they uh, they created the nesting and female is in the nest, mm -hmm. and after that, if the male got killed, yeah. the female will not not able to survive because yeah. the female will wait for the male to feed to feed yeah and if the male will not come the female will still be there in the nest they will not move anywhere yeah until until they die yeah i've heard this behavior man it's yeah. sad but it's nature yes <laughs> 
and uh, this is the also a frame from Kaziranga. Amazing. And uh, you can see the fire. Yeah. So it was it was controlled burning. Okay. So every so you can see the elephant grass both side yes. of the road. Yes. So to control this, uh, like to burn this um, elephant grass and the small trees. Mm -hmm. In Kaziranga, the forest department, they do control burning every year. Mm -hmm. And around February to March. Okay. And uh, uh, we, uh, this time we got this in March, yes. March okay. 15, something. So we, we got this like moment. Mm -hmm. And it is a different side of jungle like side of nature mm -hmm. uh, because when i first saw this i thought it was like it was not controlled but then okay the yeah it looks before, like it's a big fire uh, yeah like you can see that it looks like, looks like a big fire you cannot yeah. see anything and you have to wait until it stop but i'm sure it's still going to kill some snakes and some lot of uh, you know macro yeah. lemons but, yes yeah. yes and uh, you can see the one um, Indian roller Indian was roller. moving. So, yeah. yes. so at this time, where the the small insects are flying and the birds trying to catch those catch small yeah small insects. So this is one of those moments. Yeah. And here is the processing skill. Like I want to mention that as I have just mentioned that I like two type of images either it's okay. natural or it's artistic okay so the the second one the so one on the left the, yeah the right yeah yeah the, the, this is the natural one yeah. and the uh, right this is i this is a manipulated or composite yeah, image you can see yeah. Okay. yeah it is a composite image so uh i like this uh composite style like mm -hmm. uh so see, uh, you you cannot like this image and this image. Yeah. So if, if I if I suppose I first post this image on social media and after that the same image, the same background. If I post mm -hmm. this one, people will not like it. Yeah. So that's why that's why I thought let's do something creative. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the style of Sars Jan. I follow yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, even like when it's about artistic, I yeah. he is one of the best. Yeah, yeah definitely. So, Shaz yeah, is so, amazing. Yeah. So then by by seeing his style, I tried to create the right one that mm -hmm. mm, the this is the black winged kite. Yeah. So I I tried to so that uh, it was watching some butterfly. Yeah. Though it is not, yeah, but though it is not there. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I as tried. far as you are going to tell that this is a composite image, it's two different images. Yeah. You're not misleading yeah. people. It's okay. Yeah. The, yes. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes people do. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes people do that. It's not. It's not a mm, composite. It's. Yeah. It's, it's a real one. Then you are misguiding. You have to yeah. mention that you are comp doing composite images, yeah. and I believe a composite image is also an art. Yes, like of if course. If you 100%. know how to do it in a proper yeah. way, yeah. yeah. So, I I believe in artistic way, definitely, artistic processing. Definitely. See, it's all your freedom. I mean, it's it's not like you're not supposed. Yes, to like this, it's but, yeah. it's all about me as as yeah. an artist. Yeah. How I want to showcase my images to yes. my audience. Yes. There is no right and wrong in this. <laughs> yeah, no right and wrong. But these are not allowed in any competition. Oh, definitely. I mean, if you're presenting it yes. to somebody that's different, and if you're going to submit it different, saying that yes. it is natural, then it's different. They will ask for the raw file, and you will not be able to share the raw file for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is the osprey with fish. Uh, I told you that in uh, well, in Purvasthali. Uh -huh. So you'll get this as well. People visit this place just mm -hmm. for this image, like osprey wow. with big fish. Mm -hmm. And if you won't believe every day, this uh -huh. you, you'll get this osprey with 
face shot from this Purvastali bird sanctuary. Wow. And everywhere, yeah, everywhere from India, uh -huh. people visit this place just for this image, not for that kingfisher with frog, because you can get kingfisher with frog, but this proper, like 99% uh, of chance you will get osprey with fish from oh, this area. That's great. So next time, whenever I am in India, I'll definitely contact you and you're going to take me there. <laughs> Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you. And wow. like Go Island. So wh what when I took an image, first I choose my first preference is the background and foreground. Amazing. So like uh, for this is the first one is the black bag, the male black bag. Yeah. So I was completely lying down in the ground uh -huh. and crawling towards to this male one uh -huh. and took the, the, this is a non-crop image. Well, I didn't one. get the full body. I, I, I approached them and I, I got very close to this guy and I got this shot and you can see the foreground is fully yeah, the blurred. Green. And I, I, yeah, I don't have f2.8 or f4. I took it with my the 200 500. Yeah. And the second one is the the Can beautiful, you? but uh, it's I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I think it's Pinia or Jitin uh, Kistikola, maybe. Okay. Maybe Jitin Kistikola. Okay. Yeah, I can't see it and, that close. But it's a beautiful yeah. one. Yeah, so I, like oh, it, I tried it as a minimalist shot, the bird uh -huh. one, and uh -huh. I tried to show the full area. I didn't po I here I didn't post the full frame. If you okay. see the full frame, like the it's mustard flower. Uh -huh. in, and I I have been there because of the bunting. Okay. Uh, the yeah, the bunting. And it, it's rare here, and at the particular time, uh, the bunting pier mm -hmm. visited the place, and uh, like some people got the good shots from this area. So mm -hmm. that's why I I visited the place and I got this one. Great. So, and this that's why I what I want to mention that like instead of uh, focusing on the subject. First, what I prefer is the background and the foreground. If the background is good, complementary, and um, foreground is also good, then to, I, I will took the shot. I will okay. not check the, what the subject is. It could be a crow, it could be a tiger, it could be a deer. I, yeah. I may miss a tiger if it is in a bad yeah. area, like a bad habitat. I will, I will rather took the a deer with a good habitat. With, with <laughs> <a good habitat. laughs> yeah, I agree. And uh, this is the leopard. Yeah. From Kaziranga. Oh, wow. Yes. So I, I don't know like how many people got leopard from mm -hmm. Kaziranga because I haven't seen any. I, I have a friend of mine um, uh, who visited Kasaranga and got a fight between a tiger and a leopard. So the tiger wow. chased the leopard and um, made it run on top of the uh, yeah. top of a tree. So he got, yeah. we can see the tiger standing in the bottom of the tree and the uh, leopard on top of the tree. So he, it was wow. an amazing image. Oh. I didn't know uh, because when I took this image, and I was the only one who got this image, and uh -huh. with one of my, uh, one of my friend was me, so uh -huh. he got it as well. So driver said that uh, like he last he saw that leopard in Kaziranga uh -huh. uh, four or five years ago. Oh, okay. And okay. when uh, when I uh, saw the uh, I showed this image to the forest department, uh -huh. uh, they said uh, no, we didn't see any tiger here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, wow. like, it's very rare. Like, it is. Yes, yeah, the leopard, leopard is there, but it's very rare. 
you can see tiger in kaziranga but not leopard yeah we were we are looking for the tiger but didn't see it okay yeah I mean, this is this was a very rare story from uh, his name is uh, nitin and uh, he got an amazing image okay i will definitely see that image yeah. because i i never show never see any image uh-huh. and uh, this is the moment from uh, kaziranga bura pahar range wow it was raining and wow. there are actually many elephants more than 100 uh-huh. wow but i yes i i got i framed these three mm-hmm. because the compass like i the composition wise it was a good frame for me yeah Be- and uh, it was published in uh, discovery oh great sorry, not discovery sorry uh, century asia century oh, asia magazine it's beautiful and the rain drops and yes we have uh, them and the action and the habitat everything together it's amazing everything. yeah kaziranga is the for me kaziranga is the best place in india uh-huh. Uh-huh. for habitat shot Yeah, and habitat. Yes, I've yeah, seen a yeah. bunch. The Jim Corbett is also good, but in Kaziranga you will get different kind of habitat, like oh, okay. water body, woodland. Yeah. Um, the grassland. Grassland. Everything yeah. you'll get, and the with hill, the background. Yes, in the background and mist at times. Sorry. And fog at the time at times in the morning and. Um, Okay. there are some days i have seen i think uh, I've, i've never been there but i have seen people getting misty mornings and the blue mountain yeah yeah in in uh, december, december january yeah yeah december january. so yeah this this year i pl- i am planning to visit there in december just for mm-hmm. just because of that misty morning yeah yes. the misty effect so that is beautiful and uh, when in term of misty morning i prefer bharatpur Okay. So you you will get amazing the water body, the trees. Like, yeah. It's like a heaven. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is from Bharatpur. That's great. So it was a winter morning in February. Uh huh. And the you can see a lots of different birds here, like pelicans, the egrets, the uh, egrets. spoonbill and the the heron yeah spoonbill uh and i think yeah one black ibis yeah. with lots of birds are there you can shoot yeah you have you have too many options either you can target one species and took a close up shot or okay. you can get the full habitat shot mm-hmm. with all of the species great yeah this is also from oh, amazing the, Bharatpur when mm-hmm. the pelicans are playing beautiful it is and just because of this pelican i have visited this place this year <laughs> while people were capturing the the darter with fish they are catching like this year there are a lot of activities were happening uh-huh. so i didn't i didn't got it didn't get any darter with fish because i didn't give any time okay so while people were were <laughs> capturing that those images uh-huh. and the activities i just moved around and uh-huh. just capturing the habitat the the misty foggy effect so that was my main target that's my amazing activities. you have done a spectacular job and uh, this is the, the uh, here is our story i want to tell you the yes. pelican uh, you, mm-hmm. you, you see Uh, yeah this is the, the this is one of the pelican from this group, group. Okay. Yeah. okay so all pelicans left the flew away okay But one of our, the guides <laughs> mm-hmm. saw that this pelican was not able to move oh okay and they said one tortoise kept biting his leg oh. and that's why it was not able to move oh and he was trying more than 15 to 20 minutes keep trying to flying i got some uh, videos as well uh-huh and finally when what i believe finally when the tortoise uh 
they 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 try it was trying to breathe okay uh, and at that time slow that Manage. slow its jaw, jaw and okay. at that time the pelican moved away oh okay lucky one yeah lucky one because uh, the last when i was the last week they said one pelican got killed because of this tortoise biting tortoise bite birds this is i never knew yes uh, you uh, this uh, this uh, beak okay now the tortoise eat the full beak the the bottom oh, one really okay yes. this is new for me okay no well, that's just uh, interesting story wow and this is also uh, from bharatpur uh -huh. so i tried instead of um, showing the actual the, the actual uh, deer yeah i try to make it backlight that's amazing and yeah i i generally i prefer the cool effect you know, yeah rather than rather than the warm, warm tone yeah yeah the, i love this and when it's winter morning yes. you like the cool effect is all, already there yeah so you don't need to go anything less than 4000 kelvin of that oh that's great so, Yes, so you'll you'll get this beautiful colors and misty effect in Bharatpur, That's and wonderful. this this was featured in NetGeo. Amazing image, and congratulations for NetGeo for Century Asia, BBC Discovery. Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is also from Bharatpur. Uh, the here the the left one the deer and the baby deer yeah it is feed, is feeding so yeah i i do some uh, manipulation here okay the manipulation in the sense the color manipulation uh huh it, you will not get uh, okay. the this color so okay. suppose uh, like when i am saying you will get this frame from Uh, Bharatpur, and you will visit Bharatpur, and you will not get this color effect. So then you will say I am lying. So what? <laughs> I want to visit. So I I do lot of manipulation with color. So okay. I I don't want I don't love that high contrast image, uh, mm -hmm. very high saturated image. I don't love it. I love okay. something uh, foggy, something misty, mm -hmm. uh, something mm -hmm. cool. So mm -hmm. those effect I really like. Yeah. Oh, we have an uh, Anupam Thombre uh, talking yeah, about Anupam the. Thombre. Yeah, he he was also talking about the turtle issues and um, that like, created uh, harm for many many pelicans. So that's that's some yeah. com something completely new for me. Okay, thank you. Interesting. An yeah, Anupam story. Anupam is the is the person very humble. when mm -hmm. i was thinking to visit this bharatpur uh -huh. he told me like from which location i will get which species which oh, moment that's great. he is like he is like a guide in bharatpur oh, you know every yeah he know every places every species in bharatpur oh, in that case i'm going anupam we should do a show together i'll get in touch with you <laughs> he, he he is amazing wildlife photographer and unfortunately his account got hacked oh. last two weeks ago so oh. he created his new instagram account okay he, yeah he's amazing. It, it is uh, hacking is crazy because last year yes. my fb was hacked and thankfully managed to restore it but it's a problem but your works yeah. are amazing amazing stories okay yeah and this is Ooh. the story while a mongoose fighting oh. with a snake oh. it was in it was in kolkata okay okay so uh it was also in winter around january yeah maybe december january oh. so yeah, the uh, i was there because of red monia or you can okay. say the the ever ever the okay. red ever ever so i was there for that um, beautiful bird is fully red uh huh and not only me there are around more than 50 photographers at oh, that oh. place okay. just for that tiny bird 
ओके एंड सडनली आई सॉ वन वन फोटोग्राफर वाज क्लिकिंग समथिंग एंड लाइक बिहाइंड दिस प्लेस सो देयर वाज अ वाटर वाटर लैंड सो द फोटोग्राफर वाज देयर एंड क्लिकिंग समथिंग सो आई मूव देयर एंड ही सेड दैट वन मंगूस got a snake okay and so i waited there okay and then i saw this fight oh it was it was the like a uh, lighter achievement like fighting and the, the seeing a fight with mongoose and snake i heard like they fight with each other okay. and every time oh. mongoose mongoose own and okay. this time same thing happened okay First, they they crack their head fully Oh. completely yeah. i've seen so, some fights of videos but it's no, quite I scary <laughs> yeah i haven't seen so this is one of the the middle one mm mm-hmm. this image was selected for uh, nhm and national okay. history museum wow. the final round of judging but mm-hmm. not got selected for the It okay you so, have company mine was selected in last 9 years <laughs> for the final round <laughs> after that you yes. will get <laughs> after that you will get a message saying that your image was good wonderful but it's not the really. yeah the same thing yeah, they say it, it's selected for the final round of judging uh, and please send me the raw file send yeah. the raw file so i send the raw file after but after that yeah tata bye bye yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. so this That's is beautiful. the the habitat of kaziranga as i told you the in rain the beautiful Lovely. contrast the beautiful green amazing uh, I, I, yeah and the the right one she was pregnant oh yeah yeah so she was pregnant baby. yes so this is why i love kaziranga just because of this habitat Mm-hmm. not for the close up yeah definitely that makes it so different you know when we start everybody go to the close up shots but the more you get deeper you go start to use the smaller lenses and try to get more of the habitat yeah. it's it's a process and it's beautiful and here i try to show the the body parts of the big when like when i was with 200 500 and this elephant was very close to me mm-hmm. so i i didn't get the full body so okay. at that time i zoom ahead and mm-hmm. just took this body part great the face and the trunk the tusk so this is one of the way you can show the the frame of wildlife yeah the the body parts yeah and uh, this is these two are like uh, you can say artistic or you can say yes. manipulated yeah so the uh, cap langur uh, you, you you will not believe when uh, if, if i <laughs> send you the raw file of this cap langur it was in, <laughs> it was in completely very good light uh-huh. and so i tried to do I, when i was capturing uh-huh. uh, uh, i thought let's do some low key image i tried to okay. do, make it low key but the light was too harsh so i didn't okay. manage to get the low key so in post processing what i was thinking at that time i just convey mm-hmm. the same thing yeah. in yeah. post processing yeah cool so th- this two are also from the kaziranga oh great and this is wow. a red panda uh in like uh, <laughs> i i i saw more than 100 or 500 tigers every day people are posting yeah. but i not 5 or 10 red panda per day because it's very rare 
yeah even in india i i am not sure about other countries but in india in the wild not in zoo yeah. you can yeah. get the red panda in zoo in india also mm-hmm. but uh, it's, when it's about wild it's mm-hmm. very real yeah. and for this hot uh, mm-hmm. i visited nepal mm-hmm. and i was there for five days four night okay and i saw this species Mm-hmm. just for 15 minutes okay you're lucky you got it for 15 minutes <laughs> yeah yeah amazing yeah, it's you got cool. an eye contact and beautiful shot yeah so but the shot is beautiful but the pain the the road it's very steep okay. the road is very narrow like uh, the road is um, Four to five feet, the the width is four to five feet and very steep. Okay. And in one at one side you'll get the mountain, the hill, and the other side there is a what do you say? Kai. What do you say in English? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, if you slip, you are going to go down. Yeah, yeah, going to go down. Yeah, <laughs> and if, nobody will find you. So <laughs> you were alone or you were with somebody no i, I was as a photographer i was alone okay, uh, but, but you uh, got my, a guide with you yes i got a, the the local trackers team uh-huh. so i booked the trackers team there were around 8 to 10 people who were searching for the panda for 4 to 5 days in different places and okay. finally one one guide uh-huh. found this and uh, when they saw the red panda mm-hmm. uh, they said that it's very near they said it is very near past the snail lagega it will take 5 to 10 minutes mm-hmm. but <laughs> when i visited that place mm-hmm. uh, it was around 1 hour <laughs> okay <laughs> because the road was very very bad and it's high altitude around okay. uh, 13000 feet uh-huh so because of the breathing problem and yeah. with heavy lenses and luggage it's tough yeah. to trek at that place but finally when i got this so great the, yeah great great yeah it was one of them wow when it was climbing down amazing and it uh, it's in a singular national park mm-hmm. the himalayan griffon was uh, eating a horse mm-hmm. oh yeah yes so you can see the uh, the group of griffons there yes. uh, eating a horse okay and you can see uh, and i you can see the many flowers the the trees so yeah. these red ones are rhododendron and these are daffodils so Great. these flowers because of these flowers i took this frame lovely lovely frame so it's in uh, singhalia national park so when i i am also uh, conducting a red panda expedition in this october oh, so when, oh, that's great yeah when uh, i'll i will visit this place not only red panda Mm-hmm. so you'll get a lot of different species with the with beautiful habitat like this griffon this area uh, rhododendron uh-huh. and some beautiful himalayan birds are there mhm so, yeah and this is uh, my next image from my home mm-hmm. there's cool. a pond okay yes i was going to gym and okay. then i saw this i stopped my scooty and uh-huh. <laughs> and just started clicking because okay. it's yeah my phone it it actually it's mating oh the, there there are two two monitor lizard okay they are mating yeah here yeah, there oh that's amazing and their mating was really aggressive okay the scratch is the female scratch each other the birds are there Uh, so okay I, I was yeah. 
Do you have I a video the... which you have posted yes. somewhere? Okay. Yeah, I have the video I have posted in YouTube. Okay, I'll check it. This is okay. amazing. Wow. So the next one is uh, Salazar Speed Viper. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a newly founded uh, snake, the Viper, mm -hmm. in okay. India. Okay. First, it was seen in 2019 in Arunachal Pradesh in India. Okay. And I got it from the West, from West Bengal, a place called Chilapata, Chilapata okay. Forest. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I got this amazing moment and it was one of my toughest trekking. Oh. We started we started our uh, trekking around 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. And when we reached our homestay, it was mm -hmm. around morning 4, oh, 4 okay. a.m. Uh -huh. So a full night trekking and got this uh -huh. beautiful one. That's amazing. And it is Raka from Tadoba. Uh -huh. So it, it was the same same moment. I, I uh, the f from my presentation when I saw you like the the tiger yawning, the mm -hmm. same moment, mm -hmm. same place. Oh great! And it is also from Padova. The background mm -hmm. I tried illusion background. The background was actually brown, but okay. I didn't like the background because. <laughs> okay. the yeah, the the brown background with brown or yellow tiger Object, doesn't yeah. match. So, yeah. So what I did, I didn't do much anything. Like I just, I just decrease the hue from the background, mm -hmm. and this is the result. So you don't need to do anything every time with the background. Yeah. So just decrease the light, and the color, okay. and I got this. Cool. And. It is the India's only ape species found mm -hmm. in India. Yeah. Hula gibbon. Okay. It's found in Assam. Okay. Uh, it's it, I captured this from Kaziranga National Park, but there uh -huh. is also a uh, gibbon sanctuary uh -huh. in Assam. Okay. So you, you will see this uh, hula gibbon there. And mm -hmm. here, well, this is the female one. So the female okay. one is little brown. And uh -huh. white, and uh -huh. the male one is completely black, and uh -huh. the eyebrow is white. Okay. So here the given was with baby, we are uh -huh. moving one branch to another branch. While I was waiting for the hornbill, the, uh -huh. the great hornbill, I got uh -huh. this. And I'm like, definitely in... coming to Kolkata. I'm going to contact you. If nothing else, even if I just wanted to see given for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I want to mention. You have to be very lucky to get the game. <laughs> because, yes, in Kazidanga, uh, like last time in uh, yeah, in February, we got um, given. But mm -hmm. in March, um, there were six safaris. But okay. We heard Perfect. the sound of given, but we didn't see anything. But in April, we got given. So okay. it uh, it's completely luck. I hope. Fingers yeah. crossed. <laughs> And uh, this is the the left one. This is the oot spider, uh -huh. and behind that, this web, the spider web, you will see some water drop. It's, yeah. It was raining, oh, okay. so uh, it, it it's in the same jungle where I found Salazar speed viper. Uh -huh. So it it was raining outside, uh, and we were capturing some of these macro shots from our balcony. Uh -huh. And uh, then, instead of going very tight close up, tight mm -hmm. macro, yeah. what I what I saw that the water drops are there, the rain drops. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why that's why I didn't get that much close, mm -hmm. and I tried to catch those uh, rain drops. Uh -huh. And this is the first image uh, featured by Nergio. This Wonderful, is and congrats again. And here is the leopard mating moment from yeah. Jhalana Leopard Safari wow. for last year. Mm -hmm. And these two, uh, two leopard, one, uh, the male one is uh, Rana and uh -huh. the female one is Flora. 
okay and uh, you know uh, the rana is very bold generally leopard sigh they yeah. don't want to come that much closer to yeah. a gypsy but a rana you, you'll get rana from 10 to 15 from distance oh, and this great. uh these are completely non-propped images they are wow. around 15 to 20 gypsy and they were doing this all of oh, us oh made like me wow wonderful, wonderful. Jail, yeah jail. To do that. So, yes. Oh, that was an amazing collection, amazing collection. And every story was so interesting. So, thank you so much. And, you know, you, know, you were so open about the processing part and what you like and what you don't like and how you put it. Yes. Everything was amazing. And I love the feel of your images. You know, you feel like you are seeing or you're being there uh, in that, especially uh, the misty mornings and that um, antelope, the deer and uh, over there and some spectacular images. It's a really wonderful job. Thank we thank have so a much. lot of uh, comments, Radha Krishnan, Dilip, Satyadevan and Anupam, uh, uh, Jyotirmai, I, I, Satyadev, again, a lot of people are um, saying the same thing that it's amazing Akishan, a lot of people okay so there is one question as uh, do you prefer to sh you do you shoot on midday or you don't you shoot only on mornings and evenings and do you um, shoot in the afternoons or uh, you shoot only during mornings and evenings uh, i prefer morning Mm -hmm. uh, like from morning six to nine or ten, mm -hmm. and in afternoon after three, because okay. between ten to three you will get the hard light, and when you are in um, any national park you will mm -hmm. get a heat distortion. So suppose mm -hmm. you are clicking some images, the heat mm -hmm. distortion is there because of the heavy mm -hmm. the hard sunlight, and you yeah. won't get the that much detail, that much sharpness in your frame. So that's why yeah. I prefer morning. I love to shoot in morning. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was uh, that was fun question. Um, yeah. So uh, okay, another one is like, which what do you prefer, mobile or camera? Because you started with mobile and uh, you won award to become a mobile photographer. So what do you think? Uh, how it affect your journey? I mean. Do you still use your mobile often or you are very comfortable with your camera? See, uh, I am comfortable with my camera, but I still do mobile photography. Suppose I am going to my office uh -huh. and I don't have camera at that time. And what I do when I uh -huh. wait in any traffic, any signal, waiting for bus or cabs, I do panning sort a lot, like the mm -hmm. car panning. So okay. I I still I still do mobile photography. And mm -hmm. when I I like suppose I got yeah, I told you that when I got the rainbow, I mm -hmm. didn't get the full frame because of the, yeah. the lens. So at yeah. that time I took the full rainbow with my mobile. Okay. Even the second image uh, from the control burning, the mm -hmm. um, the when well, the um, the Indian roller was flying, so that mm -hmm. was also captured with my mobile. Oh, that's so wonderful. I do both. Yeah, that's I great. Do that's great. That's great. Mm. And I think we you have already answered. You like the cooler tint uh, rather than the warm tint, right? Which is yes. your preference. So morning and evening, yeah. you prefer morning and cooler is your choice. Hermes is also like that. I, mean, I like warmer tone, and Hermes is like you know the cooler tone. So I totally understand yeah. your feelings. <laughs> yes. Then even in afternoon, like in sunset, I shoot in cooler tone. Like the <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and, and I, I can totally understand. In fact, um, uh, Hermi, we call him Blue Man <laughs> because he always prefer the blue tint. 
then Viru Chowdhury said amazing presentation Jayanta Bai. So that's one thing. And Anupam agreed to do a session with this uh, with us. So uh, definitely I'm going to get in touch with uh, Anupam. Thank you, Anupam. And uh, yeah, I think uh, those were the questions. And thank you once again, Jayanta. It was an amazing session. Thank you so and you got some lovely shots. You really took me to uh, different places. And I'm sure everybody from the audience also enjoyed it. So thank you on behalf of uh, me, I mean, personally, and um, on behalf of Postways, as well as on behalf of our viewers. So I really appreciate your time, and uh, thank you so much. It was my pleasure, and I look forward to do this kind of session more. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We will definitely, thank whenever you. you get some good stories, do let us know so that we can get in touch with you, and uh, we can do another okay. session. We'll do that. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank, Thank you. So you. Thank you. So that was Jayanta and uh, his amazing stories uh, from India. Um, we saw tigers, we saw leopards, we saw rhinos, snakes, mangoes, and amazing, amazing images and birds. And what I loved in that was the misty mornings and uh, the feel which he was giving from those images. So it was an amazing session. So if any of you have a great collection of images and some stories to share with us, do get in touch with us. You can inbox us. Uh, you can email us to pos, P-A-W-S-I-N, touch, T-O-U-C-H, pos in touch at gmail.com or through any of our social media so that we can do a session sharing your stories with our viewers and with us. And the next one is going to be most likely on next weekend. We shall keep you posted with the details. Till then, you all, please take care. Please stay safe. And if you still haven't got vaccinated, please do that because COVID is kind of going crazy again. And be safe. Till then, bye-bye.